Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Sephora VIB sale haul. I recently just uploaded my Sephora VIB sale guide, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already, because that's where I share with you guys some of my personal favorites that I would recommend you guys check out when you are shopping the sale. Um, I literally just got home and I predominantly purchased all the products in person, but there were four things I had to buy online because they were out of stock in store. Um, so subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already so that you get all the notifications when I upload new videos and please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and want to see some of these products used in some upcoming videos. You can also just leave a comment down below let me know what you're the most interested in and I'll be sure to put it in a new video. So let's get started with the stuff that I bought online. Um, just because there were four things that I had to buy online that weren't in stock in store. So the first thing I got was one of my favorite brow pencils, if not my favorite brow pencil ever. It's the Marc Jacobs Brow Wow Eyebrow Pencil. I got this one in the shade Ash Brown, and I like this brow pencil so much because it has such a fine, thin point, and I love the shade. I love the hard formulation of the pencil itself so it doesn't deposit too much color. I never have to worry about having cartoon brows with cartoon brows with that eyebrow pencil so I just really love that eyebrow pencil um, wanted to get another one because I completely used up my other one now I also got the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum and I purchased the bigger bottle I had the smaller bottle but wanted to stock up on it because I really love that serum uh, just wanted to take advantage of the 20% off and get that I think it makes a huge difference in my skin I notice a difference in my skin when I'm not using it so I want to continue on with my second bottle I was excited to get a full big size of that one um, the third thing I got was the Joe Malone Mimosa and Cardamom Perfume it's actually cologne but I got that I love it I got a sample of it in a Nordstrom order and I used it all within like a week because I was wearing it obsessively I think it smells so good it works really well with my skin and I just love the scent that it is on myself uh, the, th the fourth thing that I got was the Sunday Riley Space Race Fight Acne Oil and Pores at Warp Speed Kit. Now, I've really been wanting to try Sunday Riley, so I was excited to try these two main things. I really wanted to try the Saturn face mask because it's like a sulfur uh, face mask for acne, and I thought it would be really great for spot treating pimples. So I'm not planning on using it all over my entire face, but just to spot treat acne. And then, word on the street is that using an oil for acne is actually better than any other spot treatment. So, it's like a salicylic acid oil, which I thought was really interesting. And again, I want to use on any, like, breakout prone parts of my face. To be honest, I'm not really sure what the third thing is in the kit. I think it's like a gel or something, so we'll see. Uh, I just really wanted to try the oil and the mask, and I thought it was kind of cool that it came in a little gift set. So now we can move on to the stuff that I purchased in person. Um, actually used one thing because I couldn't hold myself back. I really wanted to try this right when I got home and do my makeup with it for this video. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. I don't know what it was about this eyeshadow palette. I just like how they're all kind of like a shimmery finish. So that's kind of a downside to some people is that you're not going to get variation in finish or texture of these shadows. I find that they're all relatively similar. But I really like how these like gray shades and even this brown one right here, they have like the softest dusty lavender undertone to them. I really like that sapphire blue. I just thought that this was a really great like winter palette and I don't think I've ever used Tarte eyeshadows before so I just wanted to get a Tarte eyeshadow palette and yeah I don't know I really like it so far I got a bronzer from Becca this is the Becca sunlit bronzer in a Panama Sun I really liked the bronzer in the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette so it made me want to try a Becca bronzer and I thought that this one looked like it would be the most similar to the bronzer in the Chrissy Teigen palette actually I probably could have figured that out by reading the back of the palette before I went to the sale but I didn't think of that until just now Anyway, I thought that this looked really pretty, so I'm very excited to use this. And I just, I like the way they made that bronze instead of silver. I also got one other thing from uh, Becca. It's the Champagne Pop Poured Highlighter. So I really like champagne powder, but sometimes I feel like it's too much. 
I'm wearing the champagne powder, but sometimes I feel like it's almost like too shimmery and I want something that's a little bit more subtle. So I love the Becca Pored Highlights for a more subtle effect. I got a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I got the shade Custard because I repurchased Ginger and I find myself mixing Custard and Ginger together a lot to just create my custom shade. I also got um, a new eyeshadow primer, so it's the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I really love the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I think it's one of the best eyeshadow bases. It's completely translucent, so I really like these because I'm not really always one to use something that completely blanks out the eye canvas. Sometimes I want just like my own natural eye skin showing. Oh. That sounded so weird. I got two of the same lip gloss because I'm crazy, but I thought that this one was really unique and kind of like nudie and milky. Just the perfect combination of like nudie and milky. This is Gin Fizz by Buxom, and these are on sale for $10. I figured I'll have one in my makeup collection and then one in my purse at all times. And I love how these are plumping. They're so amazing. One more thing from Urban Decay, this is one of their single shadows, and I got the shade Easy Baked. It's like a pretty soft bronzy gold, and I like that it's in a single because sometimes I don't always want to bring an entire palette around with me, so this with bronzer in the crease, and I can create a super easy look without having to bring a whole entire palette around. And then I also got the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Uh, Kev Glam used this on me when he did my makeup and my eyebrows felt like shellac to my face in the best way possible. They did not move. They did not budge. I believe this is waterproof too. Okay, actually I'm mistaken. I got one more thing from Urban Decay. I got one of their lip pencils and this is in the shade Naked 2. So I got the Naked 2 lip pencil. I got the Milk Face Gloss, which I thought was really interesting because I've never used a face gloss before. And I really want to try this on my skin. It says that you can use this on bare skin or over makeup. So I really want to try putting this on top of makeup. I love the way it looks in the Milk Makeup Tutorials. I'm just pulling these as they come out of the bag. This is not in any specific order. I got a hair product. It's the Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine Hair Gloss. It just says that this is unique and hard to define. It gives hair polish and sort of a languid, slept-in sexy look. I am super excited about this next product because I've just been seeing a lot about it on Vogue and Birdie and just a lot of beauty editors talk about this. This is Tanlux The Face Tan Drops. I got mine in the shade medium dark and basically these are self tanning drops that you add to your moisturizer and it creates whatever you want. Well, okay, how am I trying to say this? Any moisturizer that you use, you can transform it into a self tanning moisturizer. So I thought this would be really cool because you can use any moisturizer that you want and you don't have to put actual self tan liquid on your face which I do and that's fine but I do find that it dries out my skin I don't have problems with it breaking me out but it makes my skin feel very dry and chapped the next morning so this cannot freaking wait to try this seriously this like I'm doing this tonight the next thing I got is the cover effects illuminating setting spray now so many of you guys have asked me to try this and so many of you guys have also recommended it to me so I figured I need to try it I'm actually really excited no I should do it on camera for the first time I'll save it so we'll just keep moving on um, another thing that I got was the so many okay first backstory so many people talk about this again, so I really wanted to try it. It's the Sukari Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant. So many people talk about Drunk Elephant, just like rave on and on about it. And this is definitely one of the products that they talk about the most, if not the most talked about product from Drunk Elephant. So I can't wait to try this. This is supposed to be like an at-home facial peel and just reveal, reveal, you know, baby skin. I can't wait to finally try this. Got another Bobbi Brown Skin Stick Foundation. I recommend this. Recommended this to you guys. I can't speak today. I recommended these. The, I recommended this to you guys in my guide video because I really love this. I picked this up in the shade 4.5 Warm Natural. I wanted one that was just a little bit darker than the one that I was using for when I am fake tanned, and I feel like this one's gonna be a good match for me when I have a little bit of a spray tan on during the winter um, because I felt like my other one was just like a teens too light 
and I really like this foundation so I wanted it in a shade a couple shades darker actually <laughs> And that's everything I got from the Sephora VIB sale this time around, guys. If you have any questions about any of the products that I got, you can always leave a comment down below. Be sure to watch my guide video so you guys can see some other recommendations that I have for you guys. If you would like me to use these in tutorials or first impressions, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see these products used in. And subscribe to my channel if you guys didn't earlier. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please also be sure to come follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm also going to have all the products that I'm wearing listed and linked down below for you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you end up purchasing from the VIB sale. I want to know what you guys get. It's going on till the 15th, so I am not against making any last minute purchases. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.